Hello everybody. Today we will be looking at how to set up an integration via Zapier uh, from Sierra Interactive into your Sisu account. Now the strategy behind this is you have thousands of leads in your CRM. Uh, this makes reporting somewhat difficult and the purpose of the CRM is to manage the customer relationship. And Sisu adds an extra layer of accountability on top of there by pulling in your hottest clients um, and giving you a way to track them and see, you know, how many of those clients came in, how many of them eventually uh, ended up signing a listing agreement or signing a buyer broker agreement, how many ended up uh, accepting an offer or, or putting in an offer on a home, and how many of them eventually ended up closing. What are the conversion ratios there? Uh, what are the lead sources that close? These are the kind of things that we're pulling from Sierra Interactive into Sisu to make the tracking much easier. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna need Zapier's base plan. That's uh, $20, $20 a month, I believe. Uh, you come in, you wanna make sure that you have Sierra Interactive uh, set up as well as Sisu. So there are two links uh, that will get you an invite to that platform. We'll include those in, in an article, uh, as well as you can also check out, um, if you go to Sierra's website, log in as an admin, um, and go into your admin panel and select integrations, um, it will give you uh, the link to be able to set up Sierra Interactive. And same thing goes for Sisu. You can get that invite link um, from our team or on our website. So make sure that you get both of these in. You, you've been invited to use the Sisu and Sierra uh, Zapier apps. And we're gonna start with Sierra Interactive. So if I click on this, it's gonna say, what's the trigger? So this is what happens to send a lead. What, what's gonna kick off the process for a lead to leave or, or, or send from Sierra into Sisu. So we're gonna start, the best way that we've been able to do it is by using this new tag filter, or this new tag trigger. So I'm gonna select new tag, I'm gonna continue. Now it's gonna want me to connect my Sierra account. So I can just hit connect an account. In my admin settings under integrations in Sierra, there will be an API key and that's what I'll use to set up this. And I can test it, make sure that it's working, I have it all set up, sweet, so we'll continue. Now, a couple quick questions here. You wanna make sure that you have the site set up that you're trying to pull from. So I have this uh, agent. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you select any agent. So it's pulling it for all of your agents and not just one of them. Um, and then you're gonna to wanna to define what is the tag that's pulling leads over into Sisu. So in this case, we've created a tag in Sierra called Sisu Buyer. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna kick off that process. So anytime I add a tag, in Sierra to a lead called Sisu Buyer that's gonna send the lead over into Sisu. Um, we'll continue with that. Uh, we'll find a sample. Sierra will create samples for us that we can use for testing purposes and all the data associated with them. So we got this here. Um, we're good to go and we'll continue. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to use the Sisu app to figure out which agent I'm going to assign it to in Sisu. So I have Sisu here, I've connected that. I'm going to use the find agent function and continue. Uh, I'm gonna connect my Sisu account. So this can be found if you go into your uh, admin team settings, on the left-hand side, there will be a little, a little link that says API credentials. So when you hit connect an account, it will give you the login information that you need to set up and, and connect your Sisu account to Zapier. And we'll continue. Now we're gonna use some of the data from this lead in Sierra Interactive that's coming over to figure out which agent it should be assigned to in Sisu. So uh, notice I'll, I'm gonna use the agent's first name and I can pull this up by selecting here and um, you know I can scroll through and find first name here. I can search it and say agent first name. There it is. So uh, we got Dan, right? And then uh, second, we're gonna do agent last name. So we got agent last name there. Um, and then that's all I need. I'll hit continue. Um, I will test the step and, um, or I can just continue without samples. Uh, actually I can't, whoops. We will test the step then.
Okay, so now I'm going to use the fields from this sample to find my lead in Sierra or to find the agent in Sisu. So I got my first name here. Um, I can do agent first name and pull that in. And then I do agent last name and pull that in. So now I've got this agent's first and last name and we're going to continue. Now um, we're just using sample data now. So we can just go ahead and continue. And now we're going to create the client. So we're using Sisu once again. We are going to use the create client option. Uh, we're going to use that same Sisu account that we already connected. And now we're going to set up the template. So uh, email, you're going to want to pull in the leads email. So you can search your email. Make sure you're looking under, uh, under this Sierra Interactive because that's where we're pulling it from. Okay, we got the email there. Uh, now we're doing first name for the, age, for the client. So client first name, which would just be first name here. Not the agent first name, the client first name. Client last name. Uh, we're going to set this to B, and th that I'm just typing that in. I'm not pulling that from anywhere because this tag is buyers. So we're pulling buyers into CSU here. So this is going to set up this lead as a, as a buyer transaction in CSU. Uh, this agent ID, that's what we're pulling from step two. So I'm going to want to open this up and go to the find agent and select my agent ID there. And, and there I've got it. So it's going to assign it to the correct agent. Uh, API ID here, don't worry about it. Just select generic. You'd be good to go there. Um, now your non your unique identifier we're going to use um, we're actually going to use the ID here so in Sierra I have an ID here and I'm going to use that and then I'm going to type a B at the end so that it counts this one as a buyer um, address we can pull in I just search for address there I got my street address uh, city I can pull this in just search city uh, I want to pull my state code so I'll do state um, and then oh, whoops. I'll do my state there and then postal code I will do zip mobile phone I will search and transaction amount now this is kind of fuzzy in Sierra but we can at least pull in an average price and then you can go in and adjust that later so as you're forecasting how much money this is going to make you in the future you know this might be a good number to start with but uh, you'll, you'll definitely want to update that in CSU going forward. Uh, commission amounts, those aren't necessarily tracked in Sierra, so we won't worry about those. Uh, some of these dates, these are things that you'll be tracking in CSU as well. Um, lead type, we're going to go ahead and search for source, and this is the lead source. And uh, MLS ID, we're not going to worry about that for now. So we'll continue, and we will send a test. And there we go. So we'll finish it up. And now when I tag and make sure I turn it on, when I tag these leads, these buyer leads in Sierra, um, it's going to shoot them over into my Sisu. Uh, this is an instant zap. So that's really nice where, you know, as soon as that tag is added, it's shooting it over into Sisu. Now, uh, I probably want to do this for my sellers as well. So if I go into my zaps, uh, I can just go ahead and duplicate. Okay, so setting up the seller side uh, is exactly the same as the buyer side or you know, setting up the opposite side of the, what you've already set up is basically the same process. You can actually just take the zap that you created and hit copy um, and then go into the new one that you've created. And there's just a couple things that you need to update here. So first is the, uh, on the options, on the tag, you wanna make sure that you change this, you know, before it was CSU buyer, now I'm doing seller. So I wanna make sure it triggers off a of CSU seller. Um, and then when I come down into my create client on the template, I'll need to change this B to a seller because now we're pulling in seller. And uh, before I had a B coming in after the identifier, now I'm going to add the S. So those are the only couple things that you need to change. Uh, sometimes it gets a little tricky because you're duplicating the zap and messing around with some of the steps. Uh, usually if, if you're having trouble with it, um, it's probably because this agent ID is not pulling in. And so my recommendation there would be just delete this find agent step and then hit the plus and, and recreate it just the same way you did before. So you have that find agent and then come in here and make sure that's actually pulling in a number and that should work great for you. Um, if it's really giving you trouble, uh, just, just start from scratch and do the same thing that you did for the buyer side on the seller side. It shouldn't take too long and just make sure you're using these S's instead of B's and, and using the right tag and you know the seller side instead of the buyer side. Um, and keeping all of that straight. So that's how it works. Should save you tons of time. Uh, just some general troubleshooting things. Uh, coming in here and being able to run your task history. So looking at what's happened, I can see 
okay, there was a successful uh, zap that ran. I can come in and look at the different data on here and see, okay, the tag triggered in Sierra, it found an agent in CSU, and then it sent the client into CSU. So, you know, I can make sure that all of that is working and that will be helpful. So yeah, should save you tons of time. Have fun with it. Reach out to us if you have any questions. Bye.